Hello everyone. Am I visible? Am I audible? Hello. Uh, let me confirm if I am clearly visible or audible. I will start it. Uh, please give me a thumbs up someone in the chat box if I am clearly visible or audible to you. Okay. I hope it is working. So let's move ahead. So I welcome you all for this session also. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdev here, educator on an academy. And today I have started a series from community medicine that is epidemiology. So I am going to teach you epidemiology, all important things in epidemiology here in the series. Today is the first day of the series. We have already covered the first lecture. Before this, there was a first lecture. In the first lecture, we have studied what we have studied in the first lecture. The difference between rate ratio proportion. We have already understood the difference between rate ratio proportion. All of have all of them have a numerator, all of them have a denominator, but all of them have a multiplier. But what is the difference between them? We have already understood. After understanding this, we have moved to the measures of mortality. So let me move, and we were in the middle of that only. So I will continue from there only. So we have started the measures of mortality. What are the measures of mortality? We have covered three measures. There are six measures. Out of the six measures, we have covered three measures. Measures of mortality. So first I will cover the measures of mortality and then I will cover the measures of morbidity. So these are the measures of mortality. There are six measures of mortality. What are their names? It is crude death rate, CDR. Specific death rate, SDR. Proportional mortality rate, PMR. So in short, we have seen these three in the last lecture. First, we will revise these three, the formula of these three just and then I will move on survival rate, case fatality rate and standardized death rate, standardized mortality rate SMR. So I have to cover three more and after the measures of mortality, I will move on measures of morbidity and we will do many numericals on that. So are you people uh, with me? Uh, just a second, there is some problem, some technical issue I can see here. Can you people see me? I guess some problem is there. Okay, just a second. Let me see. Am I clearly visible and audible? I can't see your chat also. Okay. Okay. I hope it is working now. I hope it is working. If you if you can't see me or hear me or if you find any problem, please write in the chat box. Right. Okay. Let me move ahead. So we have started. I asked you to make this table for the six measures of mortality. We have covered the first three. Let me enumerate the first three. The first is the crude death rate. The second is the specific death rate. Both are opposite of each other. The meaning of crude is opposite of that of specific. Specific means anything specific and crude means everything. Nothing specific means everything. The denominator of both of them is mid-year population. I have already explained you the meaning of the mid-year population in the last lecture. So take the mid-year population of that particular year. I want to calculate these indicators in 2021 in India. So my location is fixed. I want to calculate it in India. So you can take any location. My location is India and my year is fixed. My time is fixed. It is 2021. I want to do all the calculations, right? You can take any particular time and particular location. For me, for the sake of understanding, I am taking these two examples, right? So for India, the mid-year population for 2021, I will put in denominator in both of them. If I am calculating crude, I will put all deaths in the numerator. All death in the numerator. All death in 2021 from 1st January to 31st December, all the death I will put in numerator. But if I want to calculate specific, I will put that specific number of death in the numerator. Just suppose specificity is TB. So number of death due to TB, not all death. Number of death due to diabetes. Number of death due to cancer. Number of death due to blindness. Number of death due to suicide. Number of death due to road traffic accident. Number of death in old. Number of death in infant. So my specificity is clear. Now specificity can be regarding any particular disease like TB, diabetes, cancer. It can be regarding particular age group like infants, middle age, adolescent uh, and old age. It can be regarding particular gender. So number of deaths in males, number of deaths in females. So I'm calculating specific death. Either the specificity is disease or the specificity is the group or specificity is a particular, uh, uh, particular age group or gender. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. That is specificity. And here I was calculating all death. All. There was no specificity. So that's why it is known as crude. Have you got it? In both of them, in both of them, the multiplier is 1000. The multiplier is 1000 
and time specifier is one year. I am calculating all these in one year, any particular year. If you talk 2021, 1st January to 31st December. If you talk of 2020, 1st January to 31st December of that particular year. So both of them are rate. Both of them are rate. Because in both of them, numerator is the part of denominator. Multiplier is 1000 and time specifier is there. So both of them are rate. Do you have any doubt in understanding it? Now, this one is the simplest to calculate. You don't have to take separate uh, causes of death, the separate groups of death, calculate all death, all death. So this is the simplest, uh, but not the best one, right? Best one will be the last. SMR is the best, right? Best. Simplest is this. And good for comparison, good for comparison is the second one. Comparison really good is specific death rate. So you can compare the death due to TB, the death due to cancer, the death due to ischemic heart disease, the death due to stroke. Now do a comparison. Who is the most common cause of death in India? So you can do a comparison, right? Here you are calculating all now, so you cannot compare. Here you are calculating specific, so you can compare multiple factors of death. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So that is an important point about them. The third one, the proportional mortality rate i have taught you in the last lecture proportional mortality rate it is a death upon death you will say ma'am what do you mean by death upon death the formula is death the denominator is not mid year population denominator is total death in india total death due to all causes in india in 2021 always consider india always consider 2021 for the sake of understanding so in india in 2021 total death kitna hua from 1st january till 31st december how many people are dead Total death, put it in the denominator. Don't put the um, uh, mid-year population in the denominator. Numerator contains specific death. Out of the total death, how many deaths are due to TB? Out of the total death, how many deaths are due to diabetes? Out of the total death, how many deaths are of male? Out of the total death, how many deaths are of female? Out of the total death, how many deaths are of children? Out of the total death, how many deaths are of infants? So I am taking specific disease, specific gender, specific age group, any specificity I can take. So that is known as PMR. Here the multiplier is 100. Here the multiplier is 100. So numerator is a part of denominator. Total death ka hi part is specific death. The specific death is a part of total death. But multiplier is not 1000. The multiplier is 100. That's why it is proportion. It is not rate. It is proportion. And it gives us the burden. Burden of that disease. Burden of that disease in the community. Right. So burden means out of the total death. Which, which disease is causing maximum death. So, total deaths are just suppose 1 lakh. In India, 1 lakh people are dead, right? Um, out of the 1 lakh, uh, how many are dead due to TB? How many are dead due to road traffic accident? How many are dead due to cancer? So, who is causing the biggest burden, right? So, it indicates the burden of the disease. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So, till now, we are done. So, we have already seen these three. Let me move on the fourth one. This was a revision of the last lecture. Those were the newcomers. So, crude death rate, see the formula. It is number of death, all death. All death upon mid-year population in 2000, right? That is crude death rate. So it is crude. It is the simplest. Denominator is mid-year population. Mid-year population is taken on 1st July and it indicates the health status of that area and it is a rate. It is a rate. So do this fillings here. Do this fillings here. This is the formula. It is a rate. It is crude, simplest and calculated on 1st July. So that is about CDR. Let me come on the second SDR. SDR. Here we have taken specific cause upon mid-year population into here 108,000 it is by mistake right so that is specificity specificity can be of the disease specificity can be of the group specificity can be of the period so specificity kisi bhi cheez ki ho sakti hai so you have to be specific what do you want denominator here also it is mid-year population it is also a rate but numerator does not include all death it include death due to a uh, death due to a particular specific cause or group or gender so there is comparison you will be able to do the comparison so compare the formula of this with this in both of them you can see the denominator is mid-year population but see the numerator here the numerator is all death here the numerator is specific death death due to a particular disease multiplier in both of them is th uh, thousand that's why both of them are rate so it is simplest it is good for comparison i am done coming on the third pmr i have already explained to you what is pmr so here denominator is total death and it is proportion, not a rate. So you can see here, see, now compare the denominator. It is mid-year population, mid-year population, total death. See the numerator. It is all death. It is dead due to a specific reason. And it is also dead due to specific reason. Write it. Dead due to specific reason. See the multiplier. Here multiplier is 1000, here 1000, here 100. So that's why it is rate, it is rate, it is proportion. You know the meaning between rate, proportion and ratio now. Looking at the multiplier, you can identify whether it is a rate or ratio or proportion. So the first one was the simplest, that is CDR. 
गुड फॉर कंपेरिजन इज एस डी आर एंड विच गिव द बर्डन ऑफ द डिजीज पी एम आर इन सब पे एम सी क्यू है एवरी वन मीन एवरी वन गिव मी सब सो आई विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टू टूगेदर I will compare a uh, survival rate and case fertility rate together. Both are opposite of each other. That's why I will take these two together. You are not giving the thumbs up. First, you give me the thumbs up. Then only I will proceed to the next two. So I will teach you survival rate and case fertility rate now. Survival rate and case fertility rate. Yes, I can see your chat. Okay, I got the thumbs up. Thank you very much. So survival rate and case fertility rate. What will be the denominator now? Pura panga denominator ka hai. What is the denominator in both of them? In 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 CDR, what was the denominator? In CDR, the denominator was mid-year population, right? Mid-year population. In SDR also denominator was mid-year population. In PMR, it is total death. Now the denominator is cases, total cases, total number of cases. Cases means the person who have the disease. That is that will be the denominator now. so just suppose for tb i am talking about in india how many cases of tb you count that will be your denominator right that will be a denominator out of that in the next 5 years usually we take 5 year or 10 year duration so in the next 5 year how many are surviving or how many are dead right just suppose total 100 patients of tb are there out of the 100 80 are surviving so obviously 20 are dead right so both are opposite of each other so if you calculate one and you if you subtract so the form the relationship it is sr is equal to 1 minus cfr or cfr is equal to 1 minus sr one means 100 i'm considering have you got it just say 80 and 20 if survival rate is 80% so obviously cfr is 20 have you got it so out of total cases of tb how many are surviving next 5 years and how many are dead in the usually it is used for cancer studies in the cancer studies we see five year mortality so after having cancer the five year ka deadline kon cross karta hai so five year survival jo hai wo hai and remaining are the dead have you got it so that is the formula of the two simplest manner mein maine dono ka formula bataya survival rate means they are surviving and case fatality rate means they are dying they are dying case cases are dying case fatality cases are dying so both are reverse of each other the denominator of both of them is cases cases the numerator the one who are surviving the numerator it is survival rate the one who are dead is case fatality rate you not only for tb you can calculate it for any disease so just for diabetes calculate all diabetes in india now now today mark the date write down the time date everything and today the number of cases of diabetes are this after 5 years out of those now don't include the new cases utne jitne hai wo snapshot ke just follow them for the 5 years after 5 years call everyone are you dead or you alive are you dead or you alive and note down so how many out of the total you have calculated 5 years before are surviving is your survival rate obviously the remaining one are dead the remaining one are dead have you got it have you so can i say survival rate is a positive indicator and case fatality rate is a negative indicator because survival rate is something which is indicating how many people are surviving it is a positive thing survival is a positive now and being that is negative thing and case fatality rate is a negative indicator so these are the two indicators of mortality one is positive one is negative give me a thumbs up everyone we want more survival rate we want less case fatality rate give me a thumbs up have you got it so that is the meaning of these two let me show you the importance of these two then i will move on the last and the most difficult one to understand i can guarantee how many students of you are watching right now only 50% will understand the last one it is difficult it is difficult even i found it difficult so let me first complete these two we will solve some numericals on all these five and then we will move the sixth one right okay so survival rate survival rate and case fatality rate let me finish these two survival rate so you see the formula of survival rate what is the denominator it is number of patients or cases number of patients who are diagnosed of having the particular disease maybe tb maybe diabetes any disease so total tb ke patients in the denominator total diabetes ke patient in the denominator total cancer ke patient in the denominator after 5 years how many of them are alive is the numerator have you got it and into it is 100 into it is 100 so denominator here is cases right so you tell me numerator is the part of denominator yes or no who will tell me numerator is the part of denominator yes or no so the patients The denominator is total patients. Only patients may say some are alive, some are dead. So of course, numerator is a part of denominator, and multiplier is hundred. So of course, it is a proportion. It is not. It is not rate. It is not ratio. It is proportion. Yes or no? So denominator here is cases or patient one and the same thing, right? And it is a proportion, right? So you start the survival pre period from the date of treatment. The tre the date from which the patient is receiving treatment from that count five years. 
just after five years call are you alive or are you dead so are will you come in case fatality rate or will you be counted in survival rate you will be counted in one of the arm because you were a case five years before and just after five years so five years ki counting kahan se karna hai what is the counting the date of diagnosis or date of treatment from the date of treatment you do the counting so you have to be very specific have you got it what is the advantage of this i am talking about survival rate it is a method of describing the prognosis of a disease just suppose for lung cancer for lung cancer and brain cancer i am considering two cancer lung and brain for lung cancer the survival rate is 80% and for brain cancer the survival rate is 10% what does it mean what does it mean it means that total 100 patients were having lung cancer and because percentage is 100 right and 100 patients were having brain cancer after 5 years out of 180 are still alive because of the survival rate and after 5 year only 10 years of survival so of course lung cancer have a better prognosis and brain cancer have poor prognosis so it is indicating the prognosis yes or no yes or no okay why the person in lung cancer are alive after 80% of the patients are alive it is a good thing and in brain cancer 90% are dead only 10% are alive have you got it this is an example these are not real figures jo bhi mere man mein instantaneously aa raha hai to explain you i am giving the example these are not real figures please take in consideration just for the sake of understanding i am giving these figures right so don't blame me in future that ma'am these are not real figures no these are not real right these are just for sake of understanding okay so you tell me why in lung cancer most of the people are alive after 5 years and in brain cancer most of them are dead after 5 years why maybe therapy better therapy is available for lung cancer we have good chemotherapy targeted therapy but for brain therapy still now till now we don't have good therapy that's why people are dying maybe in future we discover some good drug yes so it is the yardstick for standard of therapy so standard of therapy the one the one disease which is having good standard of therapy the, the survival rate will be more the one disease which is having uh, not so good uh, standard of therapy so survival rate will be less, less have you got it so it is a yardstick for the assessment of standard of therapy it is a yardstick for prognosis yardstick for standard of therapy and it is usually used in cancer studies i am done i am done now here in in this example only in this example only in lung cancer 80% is the survival rate so obviously 20% is the case fatality rate after 5 years so 80% are surviving so 20% are dying so dying one is case fatality rate and in brain cancer if 10% is the survival rate 90% is the case fatality rate so 10 patients are surviving out of 100 after 5 years so 90 are dying after 5 years it is obvious so if you know one you can calculate the other give me a thumbs up so this is the fourth one survival rate you are not giving the thumbs up have you got it see the denominator it is total patients total cases total patients out of total patients how many are surviving after 5 years 10 years usually we take 5 years but you can take any time frame into 100 into 100 so of course it is a proportion so it indicates three things number one it is used for cancer studies usually it indicates prognosis also and standard of therapy also so if survival rate is more of any disease so prognosis is better means prognosis is good survival rate is good means prognosis is directly proportional to the prognosis and standard of therapy is also good that's why people are surviving they are not dying they are getting better therapy so therapy is also good so prognosis is good and the one disease who is having less survival rate only 10% like brain cancer so we have poor prognosis and we don't have good therapy for it so it is indicated of two things prognosis and therapy burden of disease was pmr please understand simplest one was cdr and for comparison best is sdr in sab pe mcq hai everyone give me a thumbs up the next one case fatality rate i have already explained you it is negative indicator so case fatality rate it is it is see the denominator number of cases cases means patient and see the numerator number of death out of these cases how many are dead after 5 years so total patients of tb or lung cancer or brain cancer how many total patients are there write down in denominator and out of that after 5 years how many are dead right in the numerator into 100 into so it is also a proportion that is so you can calculate if you know the one you can calculate the other so case fatality rate is 1 minus survival rate right so if you know the survival rate is 80% so obviously 100 minus 80 that is 20 is the case fatality rate so 80% matlab 0.8 na 80% we can write it 0.8 so 1 minus 0.8 is 0.2 0.2 means 20% give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up so this is the relationship between two have you got it so let me summarize okay let me finish it so denominator here also is case or patient it is also a proportion it is expression so it is indicating the killing power of a disease it is indicating three things number one killing power of the disease if cfr is more 
means more patients are dying after 5 years just suppose there are 100 brain cancer patients all of them have brain cancer brain cancer and after 5 years only 10% uh, are surviving and 80% are 90% uh, are dying so this 10% is survival rate and 90% is case fatality rate so 90% is indicating the killing power of the disease so brain cancer have a much killing power right so it indicates the killing power of a disease it indicates if it is not an infectious disease right the brain cancer layer instead of brain cancer if you say the same example for tb tb so tb is an infectious disease it is caused by a bacteria so only 10% are surviving and 90% are, are dying means that the bacteria which causes D, tb is having high virulence that's why it is killing most of the patients. So it indicates killing power of the disease. It indicates the virulence of that particular organism if it is an infectious disease. And it indicates acute disease, severity index of the acute disease. So that is the advantages, right? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Before moving it, let me do a back-to-back -back comparison between, between the two, that is survival rate and case fatality rate. Who will tell me? Who will tell me? Okay. Both have a numerator both have a denominator okay the denominator of both of them is patients patients or cases patients or cases of any particular disease whatever you talk about the numerator out of those patients how many are surviving after five years is survival rate and out of those patients how many are dead after five years is case fatality rate so both are reciprocal of each other this is a positive indicator this is a negative indicator so uh, the relationship between the two let me write the relationship between the two so survival rate plus case fatality rate is equal to one so total will be always 100 percent so if 80 percent are surviving so 20 percent are dying or 20 percent are surviving so 80 percent are dying so total is always 100 that is one hundred percent means one so these both ka sum is one so can i say survival rate is equal to one minus case fatality rate yes or case fatality rate is equal to 1 minus survival rate. Yes. You have to learn this formula and you can apply it both ways. Give me a thumbs up. I cannot super simplify than this. Now, the next thing. Both of these indicate two, two things. What are those two, two things? What are the, these two things and these two things? Indicator kya hai? So, survival rate is the indicator of prognosis of the disease. Because it is a positive indicator. Better is the survival rate is more. 80% survival. So, prognosis of the disease is better. And it also indicates the standard of therapy. Why the prognosis is good? Because you have better therapy available for that disease. So, you have better therapy. That's why 80% people are still alive. And only 20% are dead. So, you have a better therapy for that. So, it is indicator of two things. Both are positive. Prognosis and therapy. Case fatality rate, it is a negative indicator. It indicates the killing power of the disease. Killing power. More is the case fatality rate, more is the killing power of that disease. It indicates the virulence of the organism. Virulence. So, it is also an indicator of two things. It is also an indicator of two things. Give me a thumbs up. Now, do the comparison. <laughs> we are done. We are done. Now, I would like to launch some polls based on these five. The last one, I will cover after the polls launching of these five. The numerical launching of these five. Are you people ready? Should I do the revision? So, C, CDR and SDR. CDR, SDR. In CDR and SDR, the denominator of both of them is mid-year population. Crude death rate, specific death rate. But here, numerator is all death. That's why crude. Here, numerator is specific death. That's why specific. And both of them multiplier is thousands. So, both of them are rate. Right? PMR, PMR. The denominator is death. It is not mid-year population. It is death. So, death upon death. So, out of the total death, how many are dead due to TB? Out of the total death, how many are dead due to cancer? So, it is death upon death. So, numerator is a part of denominator, but multiplier is 100, not 1000. That's why it is a proportion, right? The fourth and the fifth, survival rate and case fatality rate. The denominator is total patient, total patient. Out of the total patient, how many surviving after 5 years? That is survival rate. And how many are dead after 5 years is case fatality rate. The multiplier in both of them is 100. That's why these are also proportion. So, rate, rate, proportion, proportion, proportion. You should know the significance of all. The next column, significance. So, crude death rate is the simplest but not the best. Best is last one, which I will teach you separately, right? The simplest one is the crude. SDR is good for comparison. Burden of the disease is indicated by PMR. Survival rate gives two things, prognosis and therapy. Case fertility rate also gives two things, killing power of the disease and virulence of the organism. This is a positive indicator, this is a negative indicator. I am done. First, you have to give me a thumbs up whether you are ready for the polls for these five indicators. Then I will move on the sixth one after launching polls. First, everyone give me a thumbs up. Do you have any slightest doubt in this? If you have, please don't hesitate to ask. Right? Okay, let me see. 
and hope you people are ready okay so this is the first question in front of you uh, you take a notebook and pen and please solve it it is an easy question please read what information is given to you and what the author is asking so shochi arti uh, rishinika iram i want everyone to solve pranali please everyone please everyone everyone solve it so in a village with a population of 5000 5000 so what is this population if nothing is written i will consider it as mid year population right so village ka population hai 5000 right so maybe this is the mid year population of the village which is 5000 50 people have a disease so 50 are the cases cases or patient and 10 out of them are dead out of this 50 10 are dead what the author is asking examiner what is asking case fatality rate what is the formula of case fatality rate If you know the answer, you can write in the chat box. Arthi have answered it uh, D, and Mahesh have answered it as D. Anyone else? Anyone else want to try? Okay. What is the formula of case fatality rate? Case fatality rate. The denominator is all cases, all cases or patients, and the numerator is how many are dead out of those cases. How many are dead? Into hundred. Into hundred. It is a proportion into hundred. Right. So apply the formula. Apply the terms. Apply the formula. So what? How many are dead? You see, ten of them are dead. How many are cases? Fifty are cases into hundred. Just solid, just solid. So one, two, right? So answer will be twenty percent. So you will see, ma'am, why five thousand is given? Just to confuse you. Just to you apply. In, many people don't know the formula. So in the denominator, they will apply mid-year population just to confuse you. Out of the track, many of you will apply this formula, and one of the option will be this. जब तुम 5000 अप्लाई करोगे ना डिनोमिनेटर में तो एक ऑप्शन मिलेगा तुम्हें आंसर्स में सो मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गेट डाइवर्टेड इन दिस वे गिव मी अ थम्स अप यस शोचिए आरती प्रणाली आकांक्षा यू ऑल आर राइट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो आंसर हियर इज 20% सो द सॉल्यूशन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो यू कैन सी द फार्मूला द डिनोमिनेटर इज टोटल केसेस दैट इज 50 न्यूमिनेटर इज हाउ मेनी डेड आउट ऑफ दैट दैट इज 10 सो 10 अपॉन 15 मल्टीप्लायर इज ऑलवेज 100 सो इट इज 20% डू यू हैव एनी डाउट कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन So this is the next question in front of you. Please, everyone, give your try. Give at at max you will be wrong. It's okay. It's okay if you are wrong. This is not your final exam. If you commit mistakes here, it's better. You will not repeat your mistakes. This these mistakes in exam. So please try. So see what information is given and what the examiner is asking. The examiner again asking case fatality rate for dengue. Okay, let me see. There is a village having ten thousand population. So this is mid year population. Let me write mid year population is ten thousand. Right. 250 suffered from malaria so cases of malaria is 250 out of which 50 are dead so the dead due to malaria is 50 right another 100 suffered from dengue so cases of dengue dengue is 100 out of which 30 are dead 30 are dead so dead due to dengue are 30 now two diseases are given to confuse you the first cases and dead due to malaria and second cases and dead due to dengue right and mid year population is 10000 what the examiner is asking examiner is asking case fatality rate for dengue calculate it dengue so don't look at malaria the figures of malaria look at the figures of the dengue look at the figures of the dengue these are the figures of the dengue now what is the formula for case fatality rate the formula for case fatality rate is total number of cases in the denominator and what does the numerator contain Number of deaths due to death disease into hundred. Apply apply for dengue, right? So cases of dengue are hundred out of which thirty are dead into hundred. It was very easy. So answer is thirty percent, and you all are right. Right? Uh, Arti, Rishinika, everyone, Akansha, Iram, Shochi. Answer is thirty percent. Yahan to answer thirty hai. What is your answer if I ask the same question instead of dengue for malaria? What is your answer now? Instead of dengue, if I am asking the same question for malaria. i'm changing the last word what is case fatality rate for malaria in the same question what is your answer now write down your answer for malaria apply apply it so denominator total cases of malaria it is 250 and how many dead 50 are dead into 100 into 100 apply how you will apply so let me calculate 5 5 star and 520 तो आंसर इज 20 इट इज नॉट गिवन इन द ऑप्शन इट वाज अ बेटर क्वेश्चन अगर आंसर में 20 भी होता तो तो आंसर इज 20% या इट इज नॉट देयर इन द ऑप्शन बट या आंसर इज 20 सो हैव यू गॉट इट शुड आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हैव यू गॉट इट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट बट वी विल ट्राई वी विल ट्राई शुड बी मूव हेड शुड बी मूव हेड यस यू ऑल आर राइट सो लेट मी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ ओके अ कम्युनिटी हैव 5 लाख पीपल 5 1 2 3 4 5 यस इट इज 5 लाख 
फाइव लैक्स इट इज मीडियर पॉपुलेशन मीडियर पॉपुलेशन ऑफ दैट कम्युनिटी राइट सो अ कम्युनिटी ऑफ फाइव लैक पीपल सो मीडियर पॉपुलेशन ऑफ दैट कम्युनिटी हैड हंड्रेड डेथ इन अयर सो आउट ऑफ द फाइव लैक हंड्रेड आर डेड इन अयर आउट ऑफ दोज हंड्रेड टेन इंडिविजुअल्स आर डेड ड्यू टू टीबी आउट ऑफ द हंड्रेड सो हंड्रेड इज द टोटल डेथ टोटल डेथ आउट ऑफ द फाइव लैक हंड्रेड इज टोटल डेथ टोटल डेथ एंड आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड टेन इज द डेड डेथ ड्यू टू टीबी death due to tb right what is the proportional mortality rate what is the formula if you know the formula you can do all what is pmr the examiner is asking pmr pmr ka formula is death upon death so total death in the denominator and death due to particular disease whatever asked in the question in the numerator in 200 apply it now apply it most of the students have already answered very good apply it so death due to tb is 10 and total death is 100 into 100 so answer will be 10% and you all are right very good so most of the numericals in exam will be like this in which calculation is super simply simple and you don't have to touch a pen of course your exam is online i know you don't have a copy and pen there so you can do the calculations on the system only you will get a rough patch and you can do the calculations but the uh, the questions will be super simple in which calculations hardly require examiner do not want to test your mathematics right examiner want to test your knowledge right the one student who knows the formula for pmr can answer it correctly right can answer it correctly now many students instead of total death they will apply mediar population and you will get one of the option also one whatever answer is coming so you will get one of the option so you will get confused so examiner just want to test your knowledge examiner do not want to judge that how much mathematics and calculations you know so the calculations will be simple don't worry but you should know the formula give me a thumbs up if you are getting my point so yes the answer is a you know the formula so total tb cases are 100 and out of 100 cases 10 are dead due to tb so there is no role of mediar population just to confuse you the examiner always give you mediar population just to confuse you right so don't get confused examiner trap bichhayega tumhe fasna nahi hai tumhe fasna nahi trap bichhana to uska kaam hai if you give me ki ma'am you make paper this this uh, this year you please uh, frame uh, 30 questions uh, 30 numericals for the uh, students so i will also trap i will also try to trap you right so that is the job of the examiner he is doing uh, doing his job okay so let me come on the next question the next question is in front of you what is the denominator of crude death rate the four options are in front of you it is not a numerical what is the denominator of crude death rate cdr is it 1000 life births is it medial population is it total number of death in the community is it total number of cases in the community so everyone write your answer so shochi rishinika iram akansha you all are right anyone else so what is the correct answer so of course the answer is b it is mid year population what is the formula of cdr cdr is total death all death total all death it is crude all death upon mid year population in 2000 it is a rate So denominator is medial population. Let me change the question a little bit, and you answer it again. So instead of crude death rate, I am asking you survival rate. What is your answer now? By the way, A B C D में से. For survival rate, what will be the answer now? Yes. What is the answer? Yes. So you all are right. Very good. In that scenario, your answer will be. What is the formula for survival rate? Survival rate is total number of cases or patients. and death due to a particular disease uh, uh, sorry out of which how many are surviving after 5 years so denominator is total number of cases so your answer will become d yes you all are right aarti iram shochi so let me change a little bit more let me change a little bit instead of this if i am asking what is denominator of pmr proportion mortality rate what is your answer proportion mortality rate ka kya hai the same option so it is death upon death Death upon death. So your answer will be C. It is total death the denominator. Your answer will be C. Have you got it? So in this way, the denominator matters. You should know the denominators of all. So please mind the denominators of all. Please mind it. Mind it. Please mind it. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone, give me a thumbs up. Okay. This is the next question in front of you. Okay. Uh, denominator of specific death rate. So you already know the answer. Again, it is mid-year population. So whether I am asking crude death rate or specific death rate, the denominator is same. Numerator will be different, but denominator is same. So again, answer is mid-year population, right? Okay. Oh, which of the following indicates the burden of the disease? Who will tell me? There are four options. Which of the following is the indicator of burden of disease? Is it incidence? Is it crude death rate? 
is it specific death rate or is it proportional mortality rate is it cdr is it sdr or is it pmr and or is it incidence what is the answer what is the answer which of the following indicates burden of disease i have told you very clearly the burden of the disease yes you all are right very good aarti rishinika iram the correct answer is proportional mortality rate so yes so here you can see the burden of the disease is shown by proportional mortality rate you have to learn the significance of each marker significance is also yes yes mahesh very good so correct answer is proportional mortality rate please learn the significance please mind the significance of each so please mind the formula please mind the multiplier is 1000 so it is rate multiplier is 100 it is proportion so write the multiplier and learn whether it is a rate or proportion and please mind the significance of all of them yes very good shochi should i proceed ahead this is the next question in front of you this is the next question in front of you so following can be used as a yardstick yardstick for standard of therapy which of the following is indicator or indicator or significance of standard of therapy yardstick for the assessment of uh, standard of therapy so stand for that particular disease good therapy is available or poor therapy is available which of the following is indicating that is it specific death rate sdr is it case fatality rate cfr is it proportional mortality rate pmr or is it survival rate and you know all these questions are already asked in your exam so yes you all are right iram it is not a it is survival rate you see the standard of therapy here the standard of therapy is indicated by stand uh, uh, it is the survival rate so survival rate indicates two thing prognosis and standard of therapy case fatality rate also indicate two thing killing power and virulence you have to learn the significance yes survival rate is the answer very good very good aarti very good everyone so correct answer is this what is the simplest measure among this simplest measure of mortality all of them are measures of mortality is it cdr cfr pmr or sdr what is the simplest one it is the most easy question i guess is it cdr is it cfr is it pmr or is it sdr what is the simplest measure who will tell me so yes the simplest one the simplest one of course the simplest one is crude death rate right so please see the significance it is the simplest one so it is the simplest burden of disease pe bhi question aa chuka hai prognosis pe bhi aa chuka hai therapy pe bhi aa chuka hai killing power and virulence pe bhi aa chuka hai so you have to learn their significance this is the next question okay which of the following is a good index for severity of the disease you can see it is a good index for severity also killing power virulence and severity the three 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 indicators it is case fatality rate yes so answer will be here case fatality rate so i'm not launching it so okay okay the next question in crude death rate the population is calculated on which date of the year crude death rate population is calculated on 1st march 1st july 1st april or 15th august so you should know that in crude death rate the what is the denominator the denominator is mid year population and mid year population is calculated when when it is calculated so very easy repeated many times 100 times it is on just a second okay okay i'm sorry so mid year population is calculated on 1st july everyone give me a thumbs up yes mid year population is calculated on 1st july you all are right the correct answer is b okay this is the next question proportional mortality rate is it a rate or ratio or proportion what is the formula of pmr pmr is death upon death so it is the total death out of the total death how many deaths are due to specific reason due to tb due to diabetes specific reason into kya hai into 100 hai ki 1000 hai that will decide the numerator is a part of denominator numerator is a part of denominator but what is the multiplier the multiplier is 100 that's why it is a proportion yes very good yes everyone is right so you can see question is there on rate ratio proportion question is there on the significance and question is there on the formula also so you should know this table without knowing this table you cannot proceed ahead that is my guarantee you cannot proceed ahead okay this is the next question in front of you denominator for calculating proportional mortality rate what is the denominator of pmr pmr you read the question you read the options and tell me what is the correct answer just a second let me see who will tell me what is the denominator you all are right very good most of the students are saying it is c yes so it is death upon death so of course the denominator is total death so answer is c you can see it is death upon death Death upon death. So in PMR the denominator. So usually questions are on denominator. You have to mind the denominator of all. So I guess we are done till now. Till now we are done with the first five. Ah, uh, let me move on the last and the sixth one. That is SMR. That is SMR. SMR. 
have you got it smr so let me start the last which is the best indicator for mortality that is on a standardized or adjusted mortality rate what is the standardization we are doing here we will do standardization for the age what what iram is asking but specific death rate is mentioned ma'am what specific death rate is mentioned iram which question you are talking about this question okay yeah so uh, for this question iram you are asking for the specific disease it is mentioned specific death name specific disease it is mentioned so pmr what is the formula of pmr you tell me iram it is total death death upon death so out of the total death how many death are due to specific disease so that is the formula into 100 so that is the thing that is the thing you are asking for this question i guess yes so if not yes tell me so this is the th thing so answer is this only total death is the denominator if numerator is asked so numerator is the death due to a particular disease right okay so let me move ahead now the last one is very difficult to understand standardized mortality rate here we will do the standardization for the age what do you mean by that and it is the best indicator but most difficult to understand but i will try my best imagine there are two cities city a and city b location a location b area a area b just suppose a is mumbai and b is delhi we can do the comparison of any two cities any two areas like um, right we can do it for any two reasons a and b are the two locations now if i ask ki which is having uh, uh, more mortality and which is having less mortality now i want to move to a city i have to take a de decision now being a medico i know mortality rate measures um, uh, uh, matters so i will see the mortality rate here also and here also then i will decide i will move to that city in which mortality rate is less because if mortality rate is less that city is better in health health status so health status of that city is better that's why mortality rate is less now of course this is not a criteria to to shift in a city but if we take this in consideration which city is better which is having less mortality rate so how you will calculate the mortality rate of the two cities how you will calculate so which indicator you will use you will say ma'am crude death rate we can use what you will say which i have taught you five now which you will compare the two dono mein comparison kya karoge so you will see death for all causes na? you don't have any particular cause so you will see ma'am i will calculate cdr here also i will calculate cdr here also so here i will say the mid-year population of city a here i will see the mid-year population of city b right and in the numerator i will see all death all due death due to all causes in the numerator here i will write death due to all causes in the numerator in 2000 in 2000 whatever is the answer i will compare just suppose here answer is 7 and here answer is 11 which city is better a ka answer is 7 7 and b ka answer is 11 which city is better i am asking you city a is better or b is better which is better the one which is having low mortality rate is better so only 7 people are dying in a year here 11 are dying so of course this is better here health care so that is the assumption i am taking so this city is better i am assuming that here health status health status is good and this city is not good it is not better it is not better it is it is bad it is bad because here health status is not good that's why more people are dying so this is my assumption no but this assumption is not true cdr is not a good indicator for doing this comparison no why you can say because uh, not listen my uh, justification for this maybe city a have more young population and maybe city b have more old population you are doing this comparison you are not considering the age now we know old people have to die now there is no one who is immortal on this earth jo aya hai usse jana hai. no i am not doing the satsang but you know this no one in this world is immortal so everyone have to die one day so probability of dying of the old age is more so after a particular age maximum in humans it is observed 110 years the maximum age in humans which is documented till now so 110 years is the maximum age you can survive the human can survive after that no one can survive now so probability of dying more is more the young may probability of dying is less so maybe out of the total population here young population is more just like in metros for the job people are shifting more to the bangalore delhi Pune for the job looking so here young population is there and you know where the badrinath haridwar here old population is more so maybe i am comparing the two areas a and b and i am not considering age i am not doing the consideration to the age so if not considering the age and comparing directly cdr no you cannot compare cdr without doing standardization of the age so before that you have to do the standardization of the age and that is known as smr the full form of smr is standardized mortality rate you got the significance i will teach you the detail how we will do it 
first understand the significance of smr why smr come in the role cdr was the indicator na but cdr is not a good indicator because it is not taking consideration in age yahan pe young hai ki old it is not ki yahan pe jitne young hai aur old hai the same proportion young aur old ke yahan bhi then it is a good thing to compare but i don't know the age distribution the city or the location which is having more old population will have natural seed yahan pe kitna hi acha health status ho the best hospitals the best doctors still one have to die na old age mein they have to die so cdr will be more right because here old population is more it is not the thing ki health status is bekar hai wahan pe no here young population is there so yahan ka health status bhale bekar ho to young people survive so that is the thing so you have to take age in consideration best is that you do consideration of all thing you do the consideration of uh, no you can say ki ma'am male female bhi ratio aap dekho it is not the thing ki you are considering only age but here males are more females are less here females are more males are less here married are more unmarried are less here unmarried are more married are less maybe here occupation may here service men are more here business men are more here hindus are more here muslims are more i cannot do standardization for everything ideally we should do ideally we do standardization for age as well as gender as well as rich poor as well as religion hindu muslim as well as for married unmarried as well as for occupation but it is serious we cannot do so we do standardization only for age only for age so age is the most important criteria among these in which which take uh, which make a difference in mortality um married and married doesn't make difference in mortality it is not the thing that married dies early or unmarried dies early no there is no such data is it not same with the religion also that hindu hindus muslims sikh isai the one who is dying more and the one who is dying less so nothing is related to that also right so age is the most important criteria you should do standardization you, ideally you should do for all again i am repeating ideally you should do for all but we cannot do such a tedious exercise so we do it only for one factor that is age that is the biggest criteria which make a difference in mortality give me a thumbs up if you got my point so that's why smr came in role uh, above all these the best is to do smr now it is a tedious exercise to do the standardization we are doing the standardization so if you want to compare the death rate of two population population a population b right with different age composition in one population the old people are more like maybe haridwar badrinath the, the religious jahan pe you know the old people stay more there and one is the city where job looking people young people are more the students are more so age composition of the two population is different you cannot do cdr you cannot compare cdr is not the right yardstick to measure no so because the rates are only comparable if the population upon which they are based on is comparable here population a is not comparable to population b because the age composition of the two is different here more young are there here more old are there you cannot compare them first standardize them then compare them so what we will do we will do age adjustment or age standardization ideally we should do standardization for sex for race for parity for everything but it is a tedious exercise so nobody does it ideally we should do right but age is the most important confounding factor which limits the comparison of two population so you have two population a population b you cannot compare them unless and until the confounding factor age you are standardizing have you got it so we how we do it now the question arises how we do it we take a third population in role uh -huh. we take a third population so my population x is mumbai my population y is delhi just suppose two cities any two cities are there right one is mumbai delhi and one is haridwar badrinath whatever you say right two populations i am having right one is having more old one is having more young age composition is different so i take a third population which is standard population which is standard population so this standard population is known it is arbitrary it is arbitrary and it is known to us maybe it is a national population and it is given like like in mathematics once you are given the numerical on logarithm the logarithm table is given to you you don't have to mug up the logarithm table for applying right in the same way whenever you will get a numerical population x composition will be given to you population y composition will be given to you and a third population that is standard population is given to you what you have to do you have to apply the rates of this population on this rates of this population on this so then it will be comparable now do the comparison it will be back to back comparison have you got it so this is the process we are doing give me a thumbs up so standard population is the arbitrary it is the arbitrary right it is available standard population or national population any population can be taken as the third population that is known as standard population where number in each age group is known to you it is known to you it can be segi world population it can be european standard population it can be national population any population can be taken as standard population which can be applicable on both population give me a thumbs up so see this example 
uh, this is your standard population. It is known to you. What do you mean by that? It will be given to you in your numerical, right? It will be given to you. See, from 0 to 1 year of age, 2,400 people are there. From 1 to 4 year, 9,000 people are there. For, from 5 to 14 year, 19,000 people are there. So, this is the total population. Total, 93,000 people are there and according to age-wise, they are distributed. How many in this age group? How many in this? How many in this? How many in this? So, from starting from 0, that is birth. Till 64, we consider, uske baad to 70 baad death ho jati hai, we consider that, right? So, we are considering the entire, entire uh, this thing, the spectrum. So, in each age group, what is the number of population? This is a standard population, it is given to you. Now, you have to apply this on population X and Y. How to apply it? Give me a thumbs up, you are getting it. Give me a thumbs up. There are two ways of applying, <laughs> direct standardization and indirect. So, I will teach you only direct. Indirect is not important. I will tell you what is the difference between them. So, direct is easy to understand. Here, what we do, death of the various age group of the population is known, okay. Uh, okay, here, okay. So, see, see, uh, we will understand from example only. So, this is population X. This is population X of the city X. You see, you have a city X, you have a city Y. So, this is population X given to you. What does it mean? It means that, ma'am, 0 to 1, 4,000 uh, infants are there. From 0 to 1 age group, 1 year of age group, 4,000 students, uh, infants are there. From 1 to 4, 4,500 are there. From 5 to 14, 4,000. So, this is given to you. You don't have to learn. It is your numerical, it is given to you. Right. Out of this, 4,060 are dead. Out of this, 4,520 are dead. Out of this, 4,012 are dead. So, this is death in particular age group. So, total population kitna hai? It is 53,000 something. Something, huh? And total death kitna hai? It is 446. So, if you calculate CDR, if you are calculating CDR, so, out of the total population, 53, 500, 446 are dead. So, in 2000, you will calculate the CDR. So, that will be the simple CDR. If you calculate, it will be 8.3. You can do the calculations. You can do. So, you do this calculation. Total population, mid-year population in the denominator and death due to all age groups in the numerator. So, it will be answer is coming. You, if you have calculator, you can do it. But this is not the correct yardstick. Now, same for population Y. This is population Y. Another city. Again, 0 to 1. 4,000 out of 4,000 out of 4,060 are dying here 130 are dying you can see the difference so likewise we are doing for all age group so total population is this and total death is this total death so again you calculate CDR CDR here 782 upon 71,000 into 1000 so this is the answer 11 so what was CDR here 8 and here CDR 11 hai. So, CDR of population X and population Y, we have calculated. Here, answer is 8.3. Here, answer is 11. What was 11? 11, exact 11.0. So, looking at this data, it is a myth. You will consider, you will consider that, ma'am, population X is better. Because here, CDR is less. And population Y is worse because here, CDR is more. It is not good. It is bad. But this is not the scenario. You have not done the standardization. You have directly calculated CDR here and CDR here. You have taken total population and how many deaths? Total population, how many deaths? So it is not. Now bring the third population in role. So this is your national population, standard population. So what you will do? You will apply the death rate of X in standard first and then calculate CDR. And then you will take population Y, apply the death rate of Y on national standard population and then calculate CDR. Those CDR will be comparable because you are taking a common population for standardization. So, this is the method. You got it. So, how to do it? It will take another one hour to do this numerical or another half hour. But uh, I have to start the third link. So, I have to end this lecture and I will continue PSM tomorrow. So, don't worry. Uh, let me uh, announce my next lecture. I am having a next lecture after 10 minutes. But it is pathology, not PSM. PSM I will continue tomorrow. The epidemiology from standardization only I will continue it tomorrow. Give me a minute. You have to give me a minute for announcements. Okay. Where it is? So here I am. Yes. So thank you very much for being with me. Have you got it? So today I tried to explain you uh, about the various uh, indicators or measurements of mortality. I hope it is crystal clear to you. The last one is remaining. We will continue it tomorrow. Don't forget to write your feedback in the comment box right now. Please, your feedback is important for me. So, whatever is your feedback, please write down in the comment box. Don't forget to click on the like button before leaving the video. Right. Next class is just after 10 minutes. Just after 10 minutes at 12 a.m. sharp. 12 a.m. 8 p.m. 12 p.m. sharp, just after 10 minutes, 12 p.m. sharp, we are having next class of pathology that is hepatitis. Yesterday also I started hepatitis, 
I will continue it today with the histology of hepatitis and finish hepatitis entirely. But where is the lecture? The lecture is on YouTube only, not on this YouTube channel where you are watching this. It is Let's Track Need PG. Not on this. It is Unacademy Live. Another YouTube channel of Unacademy only. YouTube have uh, Unacademy have many YouTube channels. So my next lecture, Hepatitis, is on UA Live YouTube channel of Unacademy. So please everyone join me after 10 minutes at 12 p.m. to study the hepatitis. And after that, one hour. I will take the lecture for one hour. So from 12 to 1. And at 1 p.m., I will join you on Open House. You know what is Open House? Yesterday, many students have joined me in Open House. So in open house you can ask any study related doubt to me anything so it is an audio call here i can speak you can't speak to me you can i can see your chat so no need to chat no need just ask it directly so you can connect to me and it will be like a phone call we are talking with each other so please join the audio call that is open house after this lecture and not only for this doubt you can ask me any study related doubt so don't forget to do two things number one hepatitis lecture at 12 and open house at one thank you very much if you want more detailed recording lectures notes please install an academy learners app from the play store go to the play store and install an academy learners app after installing an academy learners app select the category as need pg and after that search my name dr priyanka sachdev if you search my name dr priyanka sachdev you will find my profile link follow it once you have followed my profile link you will get all the recordings with the notes of my lectures and you will get notifications of all my free classes the, the the recordings are free the only thing to you require a code to unlock the free recording the code is my surname only sachdev tan s a c h d e v sachdev tan is the code so uh, after that uh, there are two more announcements uh, there is all india mock test need pg 2022 going to happen on 26 feb so please do that and uh, need pg an academy is coming up with hard copy notes so many students say that we are not comfortable with the digital notes. Please provide the hard copy notes. So we are on the way and soon we will provide you. Stay tuned. And there is a combat test which is going to happen on 19th Feb. The top 10 winners will win Amazon gift vouchers. So the subjects are ortho, OBG, surgery and pediatrics. Don't miss it. You have to give it. The last thing. If you take the subscription today only plus or iconic today and on this if you apply my code suchdev10 s a c h d e v suchdev10 instead of 10 percent discount you will get 20 percent discount today so this is the last day offer and if you wish you have to take it you have to take it so uh once you take the uh subscription these are the features given to you you can see the prices you can see this is a regular plus price this is a regular iconic price and today we are giving at this price so see how much you are saving See how much you are saving. So thank you very much. So don't miss out this opportunity. Apply my code Sajdev10 and take any of this subscription. Thank you very much. I'm ending this lecture. Just after 10 minutes, join me on UA Live YouTube channel of Unacademy for Hepatitis and after that open house. Thank you.